Oh no, how do I do this? Hi Jason, what's up? Hello Ate Ina, I'm just trying to figure out how to use the derivative property of multiplication. Oh, that's easy, I can help you with that. You have to remember that numbers can be separated into values. Can I take a look at your problem? Here, Ate. Look here. We can separate 13 into 10s and 1s. How many 10s and 1s are there in 13, Jason? I just need to look at the digit in each place value, right? So there's 1 10 and 3 1s. That's right. That means we can write 13 as 10 plus 3. Remember, the word distributive is related to the word distribute, which means to give shares of something away. What does giving shares have to do with multiplication? Well, it means that we give shares of the other factor to each of the values of the first factor. In this problem, we will multiply 2 to both 10 and 3. Now I get it! We will distribute the other factor, which is 2, to the values of our first factor. After we get each product, we need to add them together. If 10 times 2 is 20, and 3 times 2 is equal to 6, then 20 plus 6 is equal to 26. Therefore, 13 times 2 is equal to 26. Now, let's see how well you understand our quick discussion. Try solving this using the distributive property. Okay, first I'm going to separate 25 into 20 and 5. Then, I will multiply each of them by the other factor which gives me 120 and 30. Lastly, I will add these together to get 150. Great job, Jason! Thanks for your help, Ate Ina. I realize now that this is not as tricky as I thought. You're welcome, Jason. I'm glad I could help. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you learned something new today too. Don't forget to watch out for our next 3-minute lesson.